I'm watching the computer this time. Mm-hmm. I can see that he hit record. Yep. I'm watching. I see what Brian sees. Uh, you didn't start your timer. Ah! Cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me look like a fool. Uh, <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between. Welcome to the Brothers Game Podcast. Hello. Hello. Hello there. I am Nikolai. And I am Brian. And this is how we'll talk through the whole episode. No, it's not. Just kidding. It's over right now. What's up? What's up? What's up? All right. Good podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Well done. Good night, everybody. Uh, This is going to be a sleepy episode. I'm... You're a little sleepy Mm sheepy. Whoa. Get it? It's a Paper Mario That's like the item from Paper Mario that we that is really useful, Mm -hmm. (laughs) that we use all the time. (laughs) I'm always using Sleepy Sheeps. (laughs) Or Lullaby, the star spirit power that does the same thing. Even worse. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Nice. Let me me waste some star energy on that. (laughs) Yeah. Imagine doing that instead of a refresh. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Doing Michael Jones, a very famous streamer. Right. Uh, when he plays, he refreshes like every battle. Yeah, why not? Like a lot. It's really interesting. Honestly, I probably don't use enough star energy. Yeah, yeah. I In almost always use. St- I just use star storm on everyone. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> just because I, do that I like almost it, every I time I have four enemies in yeah. front of me, but. I don't. I feel like it's a waste if there's not at least. Sometimes four, the math doesn't really add up, mm-hmm. and the star storm ends up being useless anyway. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really save you any time. Sometimes. Yeah. It's, All right. Well. <laughs> it's funny if there's more than two enemies. I like. I ch- totally shift my playstyle to okay, do damage to as many enemies as possible instead of do as yeah. much to, as possible to one enemy. Yeah. It's funny. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hilarious. <laughs> That's how I laugh. I also have a tendency to just overly save flower power. Yeah. Well, like, that's the thing. You, we're very conservative when we play, typically. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing in RPGs in general. Uh, there's always the players that never use items. Yeah. Ever. And I am one of those uh-huh. players. Yeah. Well, I actually, so, I purposefully am not because I usually am. Yeah. So, like, I've purposely you made go out myself of your way to f- use keep yourself items. from being that way. Yes, I force so, myself to use items. Here's my problem: I'm always one or the other when it comes to like uh, flower power or what or anything like that. Uh, I either never use it, or uh-huh. I burn through it all really quickly Instantly. and then can't use it. Yeah. <laughs> and that I feel like that happens more when you don't know the game very well. Or, oh, yeah, or very like, early in the game. But like this happens to me in games that I know very well. <laughs> oh, so you just suck that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, that's the thing is I don't need it. So like I'll just abuse it yeah. when I have it. And then when I'm done with it, I'm like, well, I don't actually need it. So I won't bother yeah. worrying about it. That was an issue for me when I was first playing Persona 4. Mm. Especially because I played Persona 4 base, the base game on PS2. Yeah. First. Which is, that's how I played it Which is how you played it as well. Uh, Golden on the the Vita is much better. Mm -hmm. Um, But uh, I I ran through SP very quickly. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I haven't gotten to the boss yet. And I have no SP on two of my characters. And I like, I have no items that heal SP. So Mm -hmm. I'm screwed basically. Yeah. Because like all my other attacks use HP and (laughs) that's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That happened to me a lot early early on in Persona 4 when I didn't mm-hmm. know how to conserve or how to get SP items. Yeah. I think are they limited most pretty much? Like I feel like SP item healing items are limited in that game, but Yeah, I think anyway. so. Um I don't know. I don't remember it super it's well. Tough. I blew through it's a tough it game. and then stopped <laughs> yeah. thinking about it. I think it'd be fun to play on like beginner or something. That's that's what I played on. Yeah. Well, okay. Well. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well. And I I totally screwed myself over because like I got to the very last day and got to Amaterasu's uh or it, it is Amaterasu right? Who's the very last? I think so. I forget her name. But yeah. Some kind of goddess lady. Or no. Or is it Izanami? Izanami. Yeah. 
There you go. The that other Japanese goddess. Yeah. Um well it's the counterpart to Izanagi. Right, right. Who is your main persona? Right. Um like I got to her uh area, but like I had no you messed up. health, no SP. Yeah. Like I was you were not prepared in the really. red and they're all like the heart I have to get through the it's dungeon tough. and fight her and uh they're all the hardest enemies like I've ever fought. And I have basically no way to do anything because of how much time it takes to go and get healing <laughs> items and mm-hmm. stuff. So yeah, I've just totally like, well, screwed, but uh, I beat everything fun. else in the game. So <laughs> yeah, I, like, I'm like, that's good. Mostly enough. <laughs> beat Persona 4. Nice. I, I, I did enough to get the good ending, not enough to get uh-huh. the true ending. So yeah. that's, that's good enough for me. Yeah. You watch the anime. It's fine. Yeah. Which the anime is very good. So yeah. there you go. Uh, Persona's great. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey i still need to play five hey, me too I, I have royal yeah me too no. or no i have regular five but yeah. still uh i will get to that maybe someday i also need to play three yeah three is good yeah. um oh gosh i feel bad for you it's hard to pay, play three when you don't have a vita <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Vita is, the Vita one is much better. Hmm. Uh, Persona Three Portable is much better. Yeah, it's the best Persona Three. Uh, but yeah. what are you gonna do? Probably so, not. You're probably not gonna buy a two hundred dollar Vita and just to play. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> Persona Three. Um, I would much sooner just sell <laughs> my, my Persona Three copy. <laughs> nice. But I'm gonna try it anyway. Yeah. Speaking of JRPGs, we've both been playing Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Mm. Uh, debatably but yeah um i guess you haven't been playing it lately <laughs> not as much as i wanted to mm-hmm. stuff's come up well that's life. all right because i've beaten it basically i got all basically. the way to red and oh, did everything else red at, like the on at the, the top of mount silver yep whoa um i forgot that his pokemon are all in the 80s and oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh mine are uh like 60 and below so oh. <laughs> Uh, well, you're not beating red. Yeah, no, not anytime soon. And uh, I really don't feel like going back and grinding. So uh, that's probably it for this playthrough. <laughs> I'll just run through the Elite Four again a couple, three or four times. Uh, it's going to take like 20 times <laughs> to get from level 60 to like level 80. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I guess I'm thinking of later games where, yeah. where it's much quicker. Oh, yeah. No. Okay, so uh, let me just go through my Soul Silver yeah. playthrough because uh, I haven't Talk really had a chance this, so. to chat about it. So it felt more like a new Pokemon game than it did like playing Gold and Silver. Hmm. I think just the the aesthetic of everything and just the feel kind of it, it felt it's more like different. a newer Pokemon yeah. game, and uh, not not all that new, but like a Gen. It felt more like a Gen Four Pokemon game yeah. than a Gen Two. Game. That's because it is. But yes. Right. But also exact same setting and Pokemon and trainers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As silver. But it's a really good remake. Yeah. 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 I'd say so. <laughs> um, it was challenging. I mean, uh, Gen 2, I've always said was the hardest gen. And I think I stand by that yeah, it's still. It's difficult. Definitely. Um, it is funny, though. Uh the lev- the level exp curve is really weird yeah um because you're super over leveled if you it, it, without even trying early in the game yeah. and then that drops off really quickly mm-hmm. and you stop really being over leveled for everything i wonder what if it's like expecting you to do something yeah. you know that you haven't thought about or whatever mm mm-hmm. I don't know. That's interesting. Because uh, in Gen 1, the level curve is like you're way over leveled for Brock. But then by the t- uh, time you get to Misty, depending on whether you fight her before or after Nugget Bridge, right. you might she's be tough. way over under leveled. Yeah. Um, Especially, yeah, before Nugget Bridge, she's real, yeah. t- real tough. And then uh, with... Uh, come on, Surge. Uh, <laughs> you know, what's his face? If you fight Surge... <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, I kind of don't remember what it's like to fight Surge without a Diglett. So oh. I should try that again sometime uh-huh. uh, because I'm used to just one shotting his whole team I'm, with a Diglett. I'm very used to that because I never use Diglett ever. Uh huh. <laughs> so yeah, using any uh, and then also not using a Grass type because that would be my backup because Grass is resistant to electric. So mm-hmm. 
and electric is not resistant to grass. Yeah. So if you're either a Bulbasaur starter or you grab an Oddish or a Bell Sprout before you get to him, mm -hmm. then yeah. So like fighting him with a Charmander start or something, yeah. I don't I don't remember how hard that is. I mean, at least Charmander can learn Dig, so yeah, that's very helpful. I usually have like something with Dig, mm -hmm. so. But like I, I wanted, I, I would want to fight him without Dig. Yeah, because uh, yeah. Dig is so broken in Gen it's One, so strong. 100 power, and you yeah. can get it that early, right after Cerulean. Yeah, but it's like it's broken later when it, even when it's 80 power, yeah. it's still broken. Yeah, so. it's still broken. It's still so, a great move. But yeah, um, so yeah, Soul Silver. Um, I don't know what it is. Tell but me, Gen tell me why is, you didn't love it. Like you know, I don't know. I'm curious. I don't know why I don't like Gen Two more. Yeah. Um, it's surprisingly, uh, it's more memorable to me and probably in big part because of nostalgia, but probably more memorable to me than most of the newer gens, but not as memorable to me as like sun and moon. Uh huh. Uh huh. I get that. And yeah, I, I'm not sure why, like I'll be like Olivine city and you're like, Oh yeah. Which city is that? And like, I don't, I don't remember either. That? Hold on. Let me check. Yeah. <laughs> And it's like, oh, yeah, like our discussion last episode or, or the one before no. where we're like, which gym leader is Whitney? Like, yeah, right. what number is she? I don't even remember. It's crazy, like, how non-memorable it is yeah. to me. And yet I love it. I, uh, I would say it's one of my favorite gens. Oh. And, and yet I can't remember it very well. I and still it's also it's the it. only gen where you can fight uh, everybody, all the Kanto gym leaders with like totally different Pokemon I mean, and great. different levels. Yeah. It's like, it's a great region. Johto's a great region with yeah. great new Pokemon. And then you get to replay Kanto again also mm -hmm. with all these new Pokemon. It's like, it should be the best Pokemon game. Yeah. <laughs> like, and yet, I don't know. It's like, it would be, it, it would seem kind of silly probably to almost everybody, especially Nintendo, but uh, remaking it with uh, like yeah, Gen 7, Gen 8 <laughs> graphics I mean, that would, would be, be great. awesome. <laughs> like, it'd be cool. I would absolutely play it. It'd be it. really cool to see Johto that way. Listen, they remade Gen 1 again with yeah. Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. Um, there's always been rumors of, you know, like Let's Go johto something yeah so let's go johto i wouldn't mm -hmm. mind that at all yeah i don't know what it would be it would be like let's go uh cyndaquil and hoot hoot i don't know like <laughs> i don't know which <laughs> uh but yeah meryl and snubble <laughs> meryl and snubble no they they there were the go. first two uh gen two johto yeah, region I mean, pokemon sure. to be announced. i know well meryl was well and toga huge toka blue you know, yeah, Pika Blue, Pika Blue as it yeah. was often called. Yeah, I guess it could be maybe like Meryl and Togepi. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Togepi probably would yeah. be one of. Or them. Togepi and Unknown. Or just Ooh. say Espeon and Umbreon. <laughs> or Lugia and Ho-Oh. <laughs> yeah, well that that's true too. Yeah. Um, Although I guess neither would be your starter. So. Well, yeah. what if it was? That'd be awesome, <laughs> dude. What if they were just like no? They come you know up what? With baby Here. forms of Lugia oh, and yeah. Ho-Oh, and you like, start with no. Those. You know what? You just get to start with a legendary. Here you yeah. go. Have fun. Could you imagine a cute little chick like Ho-Oh though? That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be great. So cute. Um. Um. A more colorful Torchic. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, I mean, mentioning Ho-Oh, that's like my favorite legendary. Really, I would say it's uh, in at least top three legendaries. It's always been a fan of it for some reason. I was reason. just like, I know you love Lugia. Well, so, no, here's the but, thing: is when when Gold and Silver came out, I was like, you're like, who? What? Why? Why, why, why is this discount Moltres here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I liked the that it was the Rainbow Bird. Yeah, I think the gold and uh, you know rainbowy feather aspect is cool. Yeah, it's so. it's funny in the in the anime. I always figured it was Moltres. Uh, yeah, and then when Gold and Silver came out, I'm like, oh, oh that's been Ho -Oh all. It's along. that thing, yeah. Uh, it's interesting. Yeah, and the anime it was like solid gold when it was flying in like episode one. Well, it was like it was you only really saw like its silhouette anyway, mm -hmm. but uh, but it had like a rainbow trail mm -hmm. after it, and then uh, there was a thing that showed four legendaries. Uh, three legendary birds and then one other one and he yeah. pointed to Moltres and said, oh, I saw this Pokemon. Mm -hmm. But it was actually But it Ho -Ho. wasn't. Oh, so that is something I want to bring up to you and I want to debate it. Okay. I want to debate 
if you believe Arcanine to be a legendary Pokemon. And I there is a lot of evidence to it being to yes it is a legendary pokemon my guess is that he was originally intended to be and then they just changed their mind uh near the end but why would he not because there's a pokedex entry of him uh being the legendary pokemon yeah he's still called the legendary pokemon still but like you can catch Growlithe all over the place Mm -hmm. and evolve them anytime you want oh so you think it's because he's not one of a kind basically Right. And that doesn't that makes him so is that how you would define a legendary? In Gen 1 rules, yes. Yeah. It's just interesting because the the like definition of a legendary Pokemon is like actually really loose. Mm. And most things we think of as canon are actually just fans deciding yeah. that's how it is. Well, and, and I, I think, think that's interesting too. I think later gens have muddied the waters mm-hmm. with Even all further, the different yeah. legendaries that we released, well, especially mythical, Gen Four. There's mythical Pokemon too, yeah, which are a totally different which, thing. Isn't that isn't that also like a fan designation? Like that's not, not an anymore. official. Not canon? anymore. It oh, is okay. actually uh, because like in the trading card game and stuff, mm. there's mythical specific stuff. Oh, okay, because I know I remember they're the usually, mythical. They're usually small. Too, yeah, but. I remember the mythical designation a long time ago mm-hmm. to differentiate new and celebi and so that is official now yeah and it is yeah mu celebi Mm. um there's a few like uh, as elf and the you know those three weird Mm -hmm. psychic things yeah manafi they're usually very small yeah fione or yep fione and manafi um yeah it's interesting I don't know. I, I like thinking of arcanine as legendary though i just think that's cool before before (laughs) gen 2 came out i never saw any mention of mythical Mm mm-hmm uh, anywhere in any official documentation but yeah i think it, i i didn't start to hear the idea until they would people needed a new term to refer to jirachi and mm-hmm. celebi jirachi. and mew yeah. who were obviously set apart from uh the legendary trios and duos mm-hmm. of the different series mm-hmm. so they uh like in official trailers and stuff for um, I don't know if you know Zero Aura. He's like an mm. electric, like he's sort of humanoid, but looks like a tiger a little bit. Okay. He has like electrics. He's one of the most recent uh, Pokemon mm. and he was for Sword and Shield and he's a mythical Pokemon. Okay. At no time do they call it legendary. Oh, he's okay. He's a mythical Pokemon. Interesting. Same goes for Zarude, who's mm. like a grass monkey looking thing. It's like a black monkey with like green on oh, it okay. you probably haven't even seen these. yeah i guess not yeah so these are myth they're and they're both mythical pokemon hmm. only available and like codes and stuff yeah. which are it's been it's funny that stuff like that's still hard to get mm-hmm. like i don't have those like yeah. they still do these like special event things mm-hmm. that if you miss them you just never get that pokemon <laughs> i mean exclusive exclusivity is a big deal in japan yeah. so yeah <laughs> and they love that in pokemon yeah. so and I kind of get it because, like, nobody feels special if they get something that everybody else has, everybody true. else can get. That's true. Oh, yeah. So, um, back to my playthrough, I yes. guess. Um, so, Silver. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Whitney was a little bit challenging, but not in the way she used to be. It wasn't uh, because of rollout. Mm-hmm. Um, cause I have been through that before where it's just like, oh yeah, she just, uh, she just piles on the rollouts and then they just get so strong. Uh, I think I lost to her once. Okay. And then, uh, I lost, I actually lost to the steel gym leader once, which is interesting mm. because she used, I, in my memory, she was always extremely easy. Mm. And I think it's because I played gen two the same way I played gen one using only, only my <laughs> starter. <laughs> and pro- uh, frankly, I think I relied even more on my starter in gen two than in gen one, oh. uh, because I felt like there were fewer good Pokemon in the beginning of the game. And so my Typhlosion was always so over leveled mm-hmm. that, uh, I'd one shot all of her Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Uh, also it, it being gen four, it has that physical special split for all the moves. And that, yeah. that changed the dynamic a bit. But it's awesome also. But yeah. No, I I, I prefer it, it. Much better. But yeah. Um uh I don't think anybody else was all that challenging. Um and then I got to the Elite Four and the Elite yeah. Four took a 
tough. It took several tries for me to beat. Dang. Uh, especially Lance. Mm, yeah. Uh, What's your team at this point? So it is um, Typhlosion. Uh, shocking. Yeah. <laughs> shocking. Uh, Ampharos, because I have mm-hmm. always loved yeah. Mareep's evolutionary Ampharos line. I've awesome. always thought Ampharos was really cool. Um, both Quagsire and Gyarados. Ooh, two, two water, water types. types, which is very unusual for me. Yeah, you never you never double up on types. But the, the I do reason, it all the time. But. The reason is because of how many freaking <laughs> water type t- uh, HMs are in this game. Oh, yeah. Between Waterfall, waterfall surf, surf, Whirlpool. Whirlpool. And I feel I almost feel like there's another one. But I think I there is, think but maybe. I keep forgetting Dive. which one it is. Oh, something like that. But I don't think that's in Gen maybe Two. Maybe that's in a different Gen. Anyway, anyway. even just be just those just three, three moves. I, mean, I didn't want to have yeah. three water HMs be. So I divvied them up between the two. Uh, also, uh, Quagsire was acted as my uh, uh, ground type yeah, as well. Yeah, totally fine ground type. Yeah. So. Um, and then nice. I have a, a, uh, knocked owl. Oh, nice. Love knocked owl. And a, uh, <laughs> Bellsprout HM slave for yeah. cut. <laughs> yep. Bellsprout's great for that. So yep. he's just, he's still like level five, mm-hmm. but I keep him around cause so I need sad. cut. So funny. I've also Always. divvied up. There's so many HMs in gen two. I divvied up there is. rock it's smash, annoying. uh, rock climb. And mm-hmm. strength between Typhlosion and Ampharos. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a Geo dude on my team just for like Rock Smash and and strength and stuff. Yeah. At like none of my Pokemon even know Headbutt anymore because I needed to make room for good moves. <laughs> so I can't even yeah. Headbutt trees right at the moment. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot in, in Gen yeah. Two for sure. I caught Lugia before I did the Elite Four, and nice. I uh, didn't use him. Yeah. I, I I'll be honest. I think I f- kind of forgot he. I even had him at one point. Nice. Uh, I was just so focused on my team. But it's such a good psychic type. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ran? Did you run into any of the dogs? Um, I saw one of them standing outside, like, which was weird. I didn't remember that being a thing in Gen Two. I don't, I don't think know. it is. I, yeah. yeah. But I'm like, oh, okay, mental note. This guy's right here. I'll come back when I'm better prepared to. Yeah, he's hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, and then uh, Kanto was a breeze walk. Um, a breeze walk, huh? Yeah. That's what they call that. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. A breeze I'm pretty sure that's a walk. thing people have said. I'm, I'm pretty sure a breeze or a walk in the park <laughs> are two different phrases. I've definitely. Well, let's heard, go with breeze I've walk. I've definitely heard at least one person <laughs> say breeze walk. And he's standing right here. <laughs> this guy. Tell me about your breeze walk of Kanto. It was a total breeze walk. How breezy was this walk? <laughs> so breezy. Happy September. It's, you have no it's idea. It's almost fall, you guys. I was so annoyed by celadon gym Ooh, it's a freaking maze celadon. it's a freaking maze it's a maze oh I it's don't a know literal this. maze and uh interesting and it was not uh, like the way the the like pixels and uh hit boxes or whatever for uh-huh. the collision detection is just really bad so it just made it really annoying to try and get through nice and i could not find any uh maps online that just showed you the way through it interesting so i just had to figure it out nice um that's hilarious by comparison saffron gyms warp tiles and stuff were pretty easy to get through but i'm pretty sure they're the same as gen one and i memorized mm-hmm. gen one so mm-hmm. uh, i don't remember tiles there so was Cel- so celadon's different in yes soul silver definitely okay because I remember it in, like, Let's Go Eevee and stuff being very simple. Oh, yeah. So. In, in Gen 1 and Gen 1 remakes, it's yeah. never been a maze. Oh, but I don't remember how it is in Gold and Silver. Uh, in Soul, Hard Gold and Soul Silver, it's definitely a maze. But uh, I don't actually remember what it looks like in Gold and Silver. So it was so... It's always a gym I've written off because I'd, I'd go through, go in, blow, yeah. blast through it. Erica who? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, Erica has never been a difficult gym never. ever. <laughs> never. I've I've never not one shot her vile plume. Yeah. It's just it's a shame. Actually, because vile plume's awesome. I think so. maybe the very first time I ever fought her. Sure. Sure. But uh, yeah. 
I always have a fire type or a good flying type, so mm-hmm. it's just never an issue. Yeah, poor thing. <laughs> I, uh, she's doing I love, her best. I love, the, I love the old guy that's always standing outside. Yeah, the peeping Tom. <laughs> oh my god, I love the dumb. When there is jokes like that in Pokemon, it's yeah. hilarious. It's hilarious. I remember in the anime, they just straight up said no boys allowed. Yeah. And so he had to dress like a girl to yeah. get in there. So stupid. And, and then he burned if it If I down. remember yeah. right, Team Rocket helped him. Nice. <laughs> just me and James That's were like, awesome. oh, we'll, we'll, help, we'll help you get in, there. in No problem. How did it light on fire? I don't remember. Oh, uh, it was probably just me and James doing stupid yeah, stuff. Yeah, probably. Yeah, and then he got the gym badge because he helped put out the fire. He yeah. He didn't ever actually, never actually fought Eric. <laughs> mm. Anyway, the anime is weird. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a new anime coming out. Mm. Um, you remember how like generations or whatever? Oh or, yeah, Pokemon, or Pokemon Origins. Origins, right? Super Which was good. great, by the way. There's a short series called Pokemon Evolutions, mm. and I think there's just eight episodes, and I think every episode is um, a different region, and oh, just okay. like really epic like interpretations of what happened of like the main characters oh okay i'm with I'm the legendary this all right the animation's very good um like it showed you know hop and and leon fighting eternatus with his charizard and nice. then it showed um dawn and what's his face with kyogre and and groudon yeah. and, and whatever wait that was mixed up hang on no wait they're Palkia and Dayaga. Never mind. They're Gen Four. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's a, and so every Gen is going to have like an episode. And it is stuff. interesting Looks how great. like epic of a quest it becomes in Gen Three onward. Yeah, because like in Gen in Gen One, you're just you're beating all the gyms, yeah. you're catching all the Pokemon, and you're beating the Elite Four and the Champion, yeah. and you're done. And then every and other maybe generation. you go into the it, maybe and if you like, feel ooh, like it, you go into Cerulean Cave and you, you catch see the mythical things. Yeah. Every in, other game, it's like I'm saving yeah. the entire world. And then, it, and then in uh, Gen Two, like you do have to stop that rocket plot of the whole uh, using the radio frequencies to uh, force Pokemon to evolve or whatever. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know the whole plot of Gold yeah, and Silver. Yeah. You know the plot of Gold and Silver. <laughs> um, and then, like a rage. Yeah. And then you go through and do Kanto uh, mm-hmm. again, and then fight Red on top of Mount Silver, and then you're done. But in like Gen Three and stuff. And onward, you're stopping legendaries from destroying the world. Destroying the world, yeah. Exactly. Or stopping a man from destroying the world. Well, in, in both Depending. cases, it's stopping a man from using a Pokemon to yeah. destroy the world. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like, it always, it was the worst in like uh, X and Y. Mm-hmm. The dude from Team Flair, he's like, I'm literally going to kill every human. Yeah. <laughs> all of them and for the sake of Pokemon. it is funny though that that like, like that bro. has become the formula to the point that it's hard it's almost hard to remember sometimes that there are pokemon games where that isn't the central yeah. plot guy wants to kill everyone or yeah. destroy all pokemon or yeah. more, it's or both whatever destroy all land so all the world is ocean yeah or yeah or the other way around Lovely. Destroy time. Destroy <laughs> time. Uh, or space. Oh, mm-hmm. Space and time. Or so, yin and yang. <laughs> soul, soul silver, huh? That was, yeah. That was that? Yep. You're at red. Yep. And you'll probably not ever beat him. <laughs> yeah, not unless I get really bored one day and decide to yeah. uh, grind. There's a lot of other post-game stuff, though, to do in yeah. that game. There's a lot of stuff you can do, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It has quite a post game compared to some others. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's uh, Gen Two kind of feels like the mo- the majority of the game is post game. Yeah. 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 Would you count Kanto as post game? I kind of would. Yeah. Kind of. You do it after the Elite Four. Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. How was Kanto in? Gen four graphics, I liked it. Uh, it was like it? it wasn't a whole lot different than playing it th- playing Fire Red and Leaf Green, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, just a little better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. 
Uh, I played Heart Gold. Mm -hmm. I played the Lake of Rage. Uh huh. I'm, I fought some trainers. Dude, I caught the Red Gyarados. Yeah, me too. Can you believe it? And in fact, the Red Gyarados is on my final team. I shot. I got a shiny Gyarados. Isn't that crazy? Oh, All that reminds me. I oh, caught a shiny. You got a shiny. I, oh, I think this I might forgot. be my first shiny ever. It's like your first legit shiny, right? Uh huh. Okay, tell us about that. <laughs> I, I was just walking through I a totally cave forgot about and it too. like running from battles because I didn't have any repels. And then I just come across this shiny Geodude. Like, wait a second, that Geodude's golden. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, so you're playing on an emulator, right? Yes. But on, I mean, it's a, uh, but, it's a, but it's a totally vanilla emulator. Yeah. You know, nothing, nothing weird yeah, about no, it. No, no ROM hacks. So that is just a legit random shiny. <laughs> so here's the That's other awesome. part about that, though. This game crashed constantly. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So I had to just I had to just save all the time mm -hmm. because I never, never knew when it was just going to freeze up and I'd have to it's messed up, stop and restart. And every time every time I would forget to save, it would happen. So mm -hmm. the, like, and then I'd do something really annoying and then realize that I have <laughs> then, to go back and uh -oh. do it again. Yeah, that's never fun. I gotta say my my repro cartridge of Heart Gold works mm -hmm. perfectly. Cool. Still haven't had an issue with it. That's definitely the better experience, I imagine. Yeah, it's nice to actually play it on a you know 3ds too. I I'm so used to using the speed boost functions and em emulators oh that I'm kind yeah. of forgetting how it's that like ruins. to play Pokemon at normal speed. That kind of ruins you, yeah. But the thing is, is Makes like you impatient. It, it I got trained that it to be like that all the way back before I ever used any emulators when oh, yeah, I used Dodrio the Pokemon Game Stadium <laughs> Dodrio Game Boy and could play at three times speed. Yep. I was like, I don't need a bicycle. Classic. Look at how fast I can run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as fast as a Dodrio. That's I think awesome. like every Pokemon game should be at least 1.5 times faster than it current than just, it is. Just base. Just take what it is Make everything and just faster. ramp it up by 1.5. Actually, I guess I, I mean I played Sun uh, uh, everything from X and Y and later yeah. at normal. They sort speed. of fixed the pacing a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the pe pacing did get a little better, better. I think pacing is better. Um, so yeah, I uh, I got through the Lake of Rage mm -hmm. and then uh, put it down for the night. Haven't picked it up since. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm still I'm still there. Uh, so what's your team? Oopsie. Um, well, I've I, we mentioned it another time already i think yeah but uh i have a fur alligator of course right. uh, i love totodile uh croconon that's not so much but then for alligators cool again so right. so i'll take that um i have a haunter mm -hmm. uh who's great i love always love haunter and then i have a toga tick oh right who is awesome uh because she has ec extra sensory <laughs> Mm -hmm. Very cool. Oh, my uh, Noctowl has extra sensory. Nice. That's good. Uh, I didn't go with Noctowl, uh, which is odd, because mm -hmm. I, I tried to not do the exact same Pokemon I always do in Gen 2. Yeah. Um, and then, but I did get an Ampharos, so I have that also. Yeah. Uh, I, I made a... I have a pretty boring team. I honestly. made a big deal about having Gen 2 Pokemon on yeah. my team. Yeah. So, like, the only two from Gen 1 are Gyarados and... Bellsprout and Bellsprout's just a HM slave, yeah. and the Gyarados is red Gyarados. So yeah. technically, so much, cooler. <laughs> much cooler. It is gold and silver. Uh, I don't know what I'm planning for a fifth. I still don't know what to have as my fifth Pokemon. Yeah. So I'm still looking out, I'm still waiting for the right one. I used to always have an Espeon on my gold and silver team. Yeah, I I'm not. It takes so long to get friendship up. Yeah. On an Eevee, on like a freshly born Eevee, uh -huh. and then to grind it up to. Match yeah, my other Pokemon. I, 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 it's I remember, just not worth it. I remember. Yeah, it is not worth it. So, yeah, that, as much as I love Espeon and Umbreon, and I, I remember I, I did I did that for both Umbreon and Espeon. Yeah, yeah, that that was a bit of a grind. I would have, you know, uh, gotten like a Flareon or something, but mm -hmm. uh, like the only way to get stones is like much later. I think, yeah, like any of the the, the stones. So I was just like, eh, forget it. <laughs> no Eevee this time. Mm -hmm. Which is odd, you know. I pretty much always have an evolution on my team. But yeah, yeah. So that's all I'm doing for now. Uh, I'm also playing uh, Ultra Moon mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet. I don't think I did on the podcast. Um, 
I'm doing it just because I never played through Ultra Sun and Moon. I think you just briefly I mentioned I that briefly you were playing mention. it at the same time. Uh, as it's very good. But, yeah. It's it's uh, Sun and Moon are so good. <laughs> how, how different is it um, from regular Moon? Cut scenes are pretty different. Oh, okay. Um, it's like it's just it seems like an alternate real alternate universe version of Sun and Moon. Oh, like uh, when you get first get your partners is partner Pokemon is different. Um, your first meeting with Lily and Tapu Koko is different. Um, stuff like that, which is oh, kind of okay. cool. It's kind of cool. Um. Overall, the gameplay is the same and mm-hmm. the region is the same, um, but the obviously the Pokemon that are available are different too. Yeah. So, and then you also run into these weird people. There's this couple that are from what I th- like. I think they're from the Ultra Dimension, hmm. where the the Ultra Beasts are from. Right. And they're like here doing readings on stuff, and are like, "This place is crazy," you know. <laughs> anyway, that's that's weird. Uh, I'm playing with like mostly ghost types in that game with mm-hmm. like ghost and dark types just sort of for fun and yeah. to be spooky. So that's, spooky. that's fun. I love ghost types in general. Yeah. So yeah, that's fun. Um, but what I really want to talk about, hmm. speaking of shinies, I had been as of recently was doing a bunch of shiny hunting in sword and shield. Mm hmm which you remember I talked about a little bit to you, I think. Yeah. And you were also trying to get a um, shiny starter. Oh, <laughs> well, maybe someday. <laughs> yeah. The, Gave up on that for a while. The, you know, after after 3,100 attempts restarting Sun and Moon, you know, you get tired out a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe someday I'll get back to that. A little bit, yeah. It sucks. Um, so I did it in, in Sword and Shield, which is much easier, uh, mm. much quicker. So... Usually in Sword and Moon, I just did... Um, Sword and Moon. Sword and Moon. Um, that'd be <laughs> awesome. Usually usually in Sword and Shield, I would do eggs mostly, mm. just like hatching Pokemon. Um, but that gets very monotonous also. So I wanted to try the like random encounter version. Mm-hmm. Um, chaining. So I, yeah. So I like looked up what chaining is like in Sword and Shield. Mm-hmm. And it's very interesting. So like... Uh, it really matters how many of a Pokemon you've battled. Okay. And that's just total. Like, not doesn't have to be a chain or anything. Hmm. And your best odds of getting a shiny are after 500 battles oh, wow. with that Pokemon. So you have to get in a wild battle and either kill it or catch it hmm. for it to count as a battle. Uh, you can't just run away immediately. And so... Uh, that's the best way to really get your odds up. And then uh, there is a chaining aspect also. So if you do uh, same thing, kill it or catch it mm-hmm. uh, up to a chain of 25 is like the max. So after 25, there's no no more chaining is really necessary. Mm-hmm. Um, but you should keep the chain going so you stay at, the, that, at least 25. Uh, so... After basically after 500, if you have that 25 chain, then your odds are pretty pretty decent. So I have the shiny charm too. Mm-hmm. So I think it's like under five one in, one in 500, like less than one in 500. Oh wow, which is pretty good odds for a shiny. So, yeah. So um, <clears throat> I was looking at different Pokemon that I I'm like. Okay, well, what shinies do I want uh, of Pokemon that are like not super hard to encounter? I don't want to like have to look all over the place to try and find them Mm -hmm. and preferably in the wild area because they're a little easier to, to run into. Um, so I was looking at, uh, Chandelure who Uh is one of my favorite Pokemon and has a very cool shiny. Uh, and I found that in the old cemetery in the crown tundra, there is an area that has lampants pretty, pretty, uh, regularly. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, here we go. I'm going to chain lampants. So I look, I like get ready, right? I got, I got all these Pokemon that are, uh, like ghost, ghost types or water types or whatever that are super effective against them. So I can just kill them over and over. Mm-hmm. So I want to get that battle counter up. I looked at how many I'd battled already just to see what it, what it was. And it was like one or two, like it was nothing. How do you check basically. that? Do you just look at their Pokedex? Pokedex entry. Yep. Okay. And it says how many you've battled. 
I think there's probably a few that I've battled close to 500 probably. times at this point. Yeah. So many uh, Stonehenge uh, <laughs> ones. Yeah, Stonejourner. Uh, yeah, Stonejourners. Yeah. Uh, going through the, the Crown Tundra trying to uh, level up. Mm, uh, nice. I had, a, I had a Glaceon that was really low leveled compared mm. to the rest of my team because I wanted to replace my Pillow Swine. Mm -hmm. And now she's just as high as the rest of the team. So, Actually, speaking of which, I could probably get a Shiny Chansey pretty easily mm -hmm. <laughs> because... I've uh, I've grinded chances a lot. Every in, time I find a chance, uh, I Isle kill it Armor. because of how much e exp they give. There's an Isle, there's a place in Isle of Armor that has mm -hmm. them very regularly. Yeah, that's a great place to grind. Um, so anyway, I was like, all right, I got two lambents. I got I got a ways to go. Uh, so I go through, find one. I do three. I do four. Uh, and then I find a shiny. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I find a shiny lambent at number five. Yeah. <laughs> so at five battled uh total and a chain of three i find a shiny lambent nice <laughs> who has uh it's like lambent with a like purple flame and blue eyes mm. uh very cool looking i basically dropped my switch could not freaking believe <laughs> that this happened imagine if somebody like had no idea how hard it was to get shinies I normally know. and they got there and they're like oh shinies hunting's easy shiny why, hunting's why do easy. people talk about yeah. how hard it is <laughs> so insane luck uh obviously that just reminds me of when i was playing uh i was playing through my actual cartridge of blue mm -hmm. um through the um through the uh, uh game boy tower on pokemon stadium because yeah. i had that setup so we i was like those, well yeah. why might as well yeah we both have those and uh i my goal was to catch all 125 pokemon that you can catch oh, in a nice. single playthrough just like the main so, actual catchable one starter, ones. one evolution, um, no no traded Pokemon, no trade evolved evolutions. Pokemon, yeah, and that's how many you can get and is one twenty five, yeah, um, nice. None of the legendaries took more than like four Ultra Balls. Wow, that's none awesome. I feel like there's always one that's a pain. Yeah, so, but like yeah, this just smooth. Yeah, and I was like, that Wait, happens. Did did I just misremember how? easy e or hard oh, these yeah. are to catch because like, like questioning none everything. of them were but uh then <laughs> no. uh then uh, really recently when i was in uh playing uh, uh sword and shield i was like oh never yeah. mind this is what i remember <laughs> this is, that's right <laughs> uh uh catching the lambent by the way no problem at all yeah i just used a quick ball with no Dude, battling quick balls are amazing quick balls are amazing <laughs> so caught they're, one, first of, they're one of the best things to happen yeah, to pokemon no problem at all um so that was amazing. I was like, all right, well, I got a shiny lamp pit. I very soon evolved him. I almost didn't want to evolve him just because mm -hmm. he looked cool. But shiny chandelier is awesome. So uh, so I had that, and I was like, well, I got to grind for another one now because <laughs> that was too easy, basically. Uh -huh. <laughs> so um, one of my other 100% favorite Pokemon is Flygon. Mm, yeah, I like Flygon. Uh, the ground cool. dragon. Uh, I prefer him to Garchomp. I know people are Garchomp fans, mm. but yeah, I love Flygon. So if I had like a, he's not on my main team, if I had a perfect team, but he's on my secondary team. Yeah. So he's the dragon for my secondary team. Uh, Salamence is my favorite dragon, mm. but uh, Flygon, close second. I still and like so, uh, Dragonair. Oh yeah, Dragonair's great. Mm. Um, so I was like, all right, shiny trap inch, here we go. Um, I looked up everywhere you could find a trap inch vibrava and flygon just to see what would be easiest to to chain and um i believe route seven like in the main game mm -hmm. has trap inch and it's the most the area with the most uh common uh of them mm -hmm. and the most common is like five percent <laughs> chance oh, of, yeah. of seeing them so i was like all right well okay this won't be super easy necessarily mm -hmm. <laughs> um i found that they were they, they seemed more common than 5%, though. It's still so very weird that Trap Inch evolves into Vibrava. They yeah, don't look anything no like it. Yeah, it's like he's a little mole thing, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden he's a flying bug. Yeah. Who's a dragon. Yeah. I a have dragonfly. Yeah, but a yeah. dragonfly, yeah. Uh, very interesting. Yeah. That's but a, I, that's I don't know weird... what dragonfly larva look like, so I don't yeah, know. Maybe, maybe, that's, it's, maybe it's realistic. Maybe that know. looks like a larva, <laughs> yep. Um, so I... You know, started chaining those. Uh, that area has um, 
it's not it's a very pretty tight route like mm -hmm. not very wide roads and stuff so it was very easy to bump into other pokemon in accident right <laughs> which was very annoying like there was galarian yamask there were uh heliop tiles they were there were uh uh maractus mm -hmm. uh very rarely there were a axew the little you know dragon pokemon okay the little you know the with like the big knife in his mouth <laughs> Okay. Little green guy. Anyway, um, uh, but by far the most annoying were the Doug Trio mm. in the area, <laughs> because you know what Doug Trio sometimes has as a as a uh, ability is arena trap. Mm. And if you and if you're an arena trap, you cannot change Pokemon and you cannot run away. Uh -huh. And so if you kill it, you have uh, that breaks your chain, your mm. chain of twenty five. Uh, very annoying. Yeah. Luckily, I figured out Poke Dolls work. Ah, work. Okay. Uh, so I went and bought a hundred Poke Dolls. Yep. And then there it was not an issue again. That's how you do it. But it was very annoying. Yeah. Um, and so um, I started chaining those trap inch man, and after about two hundred, I was like, I just got to keep going. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was like, uh. Took a few days now of just picking it up and, and grinding every once in a while. Mm. Mm. Um, I was like in the 300s and I was like, okay, any minute now, basically, because it's getting to like the point where it's like one in 500 ish. Yeah. And, um, and so it's like late at night, I'm going with those trap inch and then I run into a Doug Trio again and I'm like, great. And the Doug Trio has purple noses. Oh. And I go, that's a shiny Doug Trio. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. That was unexpected. Wow. So not chaining Doug Trios at all. Like three Doug Trios battled. And uh, randomly, totally random. <laughs> like, le again, legit shiny. Yeah. Uh, shiny Doug Trio. Um, not a bad shiny. It's like dark blue, purplish noses. Kind of mm -hmm. cool looking. Uh, so I caught that. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess I have a shiny Doug Trio now. No. That was awesome. Uh, I was like, I really hope that didn't kill my luck just now for the shiny trap inch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I kept at it uh, anyway. And I think I got it at just under 500. It was like 460 something, I think, mm. uh, was was the amount battled when I got the, the shiny trap inch finally, uh, which is very cool. It's like... Um, dark green, almost bluish looking, oh, okay. the trap inch, which looks great. Uh, and then shiny Flygon looks so good. It's got, uh, it's mainly yellow-ish body with like orange and blue accent hmm. instead of like the red and green it usually has. Anyway, it looks amazing. Love shiny Flygon. Uh, so that was really fun. It was like really fun to actually get shinies. Like I got three shinies in the span of just a couple weeks, so... That was pretty cool. I'm sort of in the middle of trying to um, get a shiny Rotom. Um, just because I like Rotom a lot. Uh, and they're like pink. They're like pink instead of orange and stuff. Uh, but, but yeah. No luck with that yet. But I'm not as passionate about that one. So yeah. We'll see if I ever get that. But anyway. Uh, pretty successful shiny hunting. Cool. Which was very fun. I hear you have some news. I do. Um, the best thing about sharing news with Brian is that he doesn't look up anything. Right. And doesn't read anything on the internet. That isn't that. Well, he reads other things on the internet, not video game news. So. Right. Uh, so even though all of this information has been out, we're recording this September 2nd. All of this information has been out for weeks now. He has nothing. He will. He will know none of what I'm about mm -hmm. to say, which is great. Um, uh, so, Brian, I don't know if you heard. There was a there was a Pokemon uh, presents event, mm -hmm. uh, illustrating a bunch of new stuff for uh, Burp, Radiant Diamond, and Shining Pearl, mm -hmm. as well as Pokemon Legends Arceus. Both very exciting new games coming out. Both very quickly pre-ordered on on my end. <laughs> um, uh <-huh. laughs> You should get diamond. You got to uh, pre-order diamond, Brian. Hmm. <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, so the Arceus news is a little more exciting. So I'll start with the diamond and pearl news. Okay. 
Um, so first of all, I wrote, looks so good, exclamation point. <laughs> I saw like one screenshot of the latest gameplay footage. The latest? Okay. It wasn't the latest because it's much better now yeah. <laughs> than it was. It was just one screenshot okay. I saw. Well, the trailer overall looks very good. Mm -hmm. uh, they added like a bunch of like depth of field and like shading, more shading on stuff. And in general, I think it looks very good. Um, it's mm -hmm. sort of reminiscent of the new Link's Awakening, which is a bit toy looking. Mm -hmm. but like in a good way. Um, so in general, I think the the graphics are far improved, especially from the, the very first trailer that came out. Mm -hmm. So that part's nice. Um, I noted here that uh, your partner Pokemon or whoever you want follows you around, just like okay, in yeah. the, the other games. I'm really glad this is sort of becoming a standard because it's so much more fun than having them in a ball, I feel yeah. like. I think it's super fun to let to have like any Pokemon you want behind you, mm -hmm. especially fun to have like, you know, big legendaries and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like in uh, sword and shield, I have, I sometimes will just have Galarian Moltres behind me just uh -huh. cause it looks terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like insane. This like dark, evil, fiery demon thing behind you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I think that's great. Um, also they brought, they're bringing back almost every, weird fun feature that was in diamond and pearl okay and like revamping it so uh stickers on pokeballs oh okay is a thing you can decorate the pokeball your uh, pokemon is in and it'll actually change the little like flare and spark sparkles that come out when they come out of their pokeball hmm. so All you right. have different symbols or like different i think you can even have words uh, hmm. eventually um which is really fun it's just cute uh Cool outfits, all new outfits for, you know, for Don and the other guy. Who cares? <laughs> Don's all that matters. Uh, actually, I love Diamond, the guy with the beret. No. I like his beret and his scarf. Um, uh, new outfits, of course. Uh, I'm also glad that's becoming a standard because dressing up is fun. Mm -hmm. uh, the other big thing is underground, like, tunnels and underground rooms, mm -hmm. which were sort of a thing in the original diamond and pearl, but in this they're like huge connected tunnels oh, like underneath okay. the whole region. And they, and then, and you can find different like special rooms that are, have like a theme. Like it's like, Oh, this is an icy room where you can find certain ice Pokemon or whatever. Oh. Um, mm. and there's, they've added tons of Pokemon that aren't in the original diamond and pearl mm. in these underground rooms. So, and there are fire based rooms and that, mm. so that means there's, there will be good fire times <laughs> in time and pearl, finally, hopefully. Uh, but they showed multiple Pokemon that are not normally catchable mm. uh, in diamond and pearl. So we know that special fun Pokemon will be there. Oh. So that's really nice. I don't know. I think that's very good news because I think the thing diamond and pearl was lacking most was diversity and choices of Pokemon and stuff. So yeah. That's a big deal to me. When you mentioned Dawn, that yeah. reminded me. So uh, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you have the extra like rival slash childhood friend character. Yeah. Uh, Lyra, mm -hmm. if you start as a guy. Um, she is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because a s starting with like the end of the last gym onward she uh -huh. called me constantly oh, really it's just like and it was never there, for so. anything plot important ever just like hey it was that? just like hey my my pokemon did something stupid huh that was that was like, it like, I hate just it. constantly <laughs> so i just stopped answering i would just every time she called i'd like open a different menu to make it stop like, shut up <laughs> I was like trying to ghost this That's Pokemon. Amazing. This Ghosting your best friend. That's amazing. It's like, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, go away. Yeah. I liked it better when I had, uh, I only had a rival that hated me. <laughs> yeah, I only want the criminal <laughs> yeah. calling me. I, I, That's yeah. awesome. Because he wouldn't ever call me. That's the mm -hmm. part. I also, it, there's a lot of trainers you can. Uh, get their phone number after you battle them so that you can yeah. have a rematch. Didn't do it even once. Always say no. Yeah. Because I because they'll just call you up out of the blue and just yeah. want to fight you. Like, no, I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> I'm busy. Yeah. I 
on the opposite end, I took everyone's phone number. I did, Every single person. I did that once in Golden Silver. I regretted it so much. <laughs> I was just, the phone just constant. Yeah. I only did it because they give you special items sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like I will call like, hey, I just dug up the shiny stone. You want it? So that's the only reason. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I understand that there are reasons to do that, yeah. that there are perks behind doing that. It's just so annoying <laughs> if you're just them. trying to get through the game and you just constantly get interrupted That's by awesome. these phone calls. I, on the op- again, the opposite, I made like a head cannon where like, oh, this lass is my friend, my one of my best friends. And this random youngster is like a kid I'm annoyed <laughs> by. I had a whole story behind a couple of them. <laughs> This, so this, this we is play that fr- very differently. This is that friend you call, uh, call when no, when everybody else is busy, and you're like, "Uh, fine, I'll call him." I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, last thing, tons of speculation around, of course, as usual, mm-hmm. um, because of the way the legendaries look powered up and stuff it, uh, near the end of the trailer. A lot of people are thinking there will be some sort of new form for them. Okay, for Palki and Dialga. Uh, very similar to like primal Kyogre and mm-hmm. stuff. So we'll see if that's true. It'd be cool to see if they add some sort of gimmick like they usually have, like Mega Evolution, something like that. Mm-hmm. We'll see. They haven't s- shown anything like that yet. That would be but. interesting because, like, I know, especially in like J- X and Y, like Mega Evolution was kind of the central plot very to the important whole to the plot. game. Yeah. So. so, yeah, they might not, or they might. I don't know. Hmm. But like in, uh, I think it was in Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, they like f- s- sprinkled in uh, Mega Evolution. Mm-hmm. And just like you could just randomly do it, I yeah. think. So I don't know. We'll see if that's if it's ever a thing. But other than that, that's about it. A lot of people are speculating, you know, hoping for a bunch of new crazy stuff. Oh, there'll be a new type or there's a new Evolution. No, that's going to happen. Yeah, but I don't know why it would. It's a it's a remake. I know, I know. But people always want things. Yeah. Especially Pokemon fans. Yes. So that's about it for Diamond and Pearl in general. Looking forward to it, though. So there you go. Do you care at all? Do you think you're ever going to get it? I mean, I want to play it. I just don't know if I want to buy it necessarily. Uh, how are you going to play it, then? i am borrow your copy, of course. <laughs> oh, if you're lucky. I'm going to be too busy. Playing it all day and all night. This is my nice, sweet brother. So nice. <laughs> so nice. Are you going to bribe me? You're going to be like, hey, I, I paid for $25 of that controller you got. I, I guess I could use that against you. <laughs> or all the all the years of other things I bought you oh, over your lifetime. Right. Anyway, so news about Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh-huh. Uh, so you saw the launch trailer, right? I think. I think so. Yeah, I think you did. Uh, where the Pokemon had horrible frame rates and stuff. <laughs> um, so the game looks slightly better. Okay. I would definitely say better than the first trailer. Uh, the po- the wild Pokemon's frame rates are better, for <laughs> sure. Uh, people are saying that it's the worst looking game they've ever seen. Hmm. People say it looks like a PlayStation 2 game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I find these a bit harsh. <laughs> I don't think it's quite that bad. Um, people keep, there's like a screenshot going around of, uh, of it. And then a screenshot from oblivion mm-hmm. from like the original Xbox and saying that oblivion looks better, mm-hmm. uh, debatable. Okay. I don't think that's true. Really? Mostly oblivion just had more trees that made it. Lo- so it made it look like it was better. Mm. Anyway, that's a whole thing. Again, <laughs> just like in sword and shield, people are obsessed with trees as oh, usual. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Whatever. So uh, graphics aside, uh, here's all of the uh, things they showed off. Uh, Big City is Mm -hmm. what I wrote. Very cool, uh, old Japanese-looking city. Mm. Okay. Um, And that seems to be like the home base of everyone. And you are working for uh, what will become Team Galactic. Bro, which is, okay. Which is the evil team yeah. in, in Diamond and Pearl, which is very interesting. Uh-huh. Um, it even has the G from Team Galactic. Wow. But in this, they're just researchers. Uh, so that it started out good, apparently, mm-hmm. and, and that sort of thing. So that's interesting. I thought mm-hmm. that was kind of cool, actually. 
Uh, it showed off some of the characters. There's like there's like the boss who's very like gruff and serious, and then there's the professor who looks like a dork, uh, mm. <laughs> major dork, um, and ba- and it shows off. Basically, they put you on quests or side quests, basically from mm. them, and uh, then you like go out into the open world and do stuff, which is really cool. Um, so it showed them showed you walking around, and it shows two options basically when you see a wild pokemon you can like bring up a targeting thing mm-hmm. and throw a poke just throw a pokeball at it hmm. just like catch it by surprise throw a pokeball at it try to catch it um or you have a little um like hud uh on the bottom right that has your pokemon your pokemon that you have on you mm-hmm. that you can rotate through and then you just hit a button to throw them to like let them out okay and it initiates a battle with whatever Pokemon is nearby. Uh, and then you can battle and catch it or just battle it sort mm. of like an actual Pokemon game. So kind of cool. And it's very like totally open world. Like they're just roaming and you can do, you could just go and attack them basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, the, uh, after that I'll show I'll get into more specifics of that. But, um, it then shows all the new Pokemon. Mm-hmm. There are so far they've only shown new evolutions of regular Pokemon and new uh, forms. So this is called the Hisui region. Now. Okay, it's but it is but it is Sinnoh, but it's before it was called Sinnoh, mm. so it's the Hisui for now. And um, there is Hisuian forms of uh, what is this Braviary? That's right. So, you oh, know, okay. Rufflet and Braviary have Hisuian forms. Um, and it's a ab- Braviary is absolutely massive, <laughs> like even bigger than regular Braviary. And he's got like the shiny purple like feathers underneath him mm-hmm. um, because he's part psychic now. Oh, interesting. So, Braviary is a psychic flying type. Uh, and it shows a whole thing where you can glide on him. Mm-hmm. So, you like you have a little glider thing hanging from it and you can fly around on Braviary. That's cool. And then it showed surfing. Mm-hmm. And you surf on the new Bascu Legion. Bascu Legion. Bascu Legion. A whole legion of Basculin? So it's Basculin. This is an this is a Hisui only evolution of hmm. Basculin. It is just a massive Basculin. Oh. But he is water ghost type. Okay. Because this Basculin is propelled and made giant by the souls of dead Basculin. <laughs> is how it's described. Okay, Whole, wow. Uh, yeah, I know. All right. Really messed up. Uh, so that's cool. <laughs> so not Legion as in a lot of fish. Legion is in like the demon. Yeah. Like the, like, I am Legion for we are many. <laughs> anyway, awesome. I think that's amazing. <laughs> so you can surf on that if this you want. This sounds like a very interesting game. Yeah, so you can surf on that. Uh, you can also ride the new wir- Weird Deer. Weird Deer. Like Weird Deer. Um, so w- what's the v- what's that one deer Pokemon that's like not Stantler, the other one? It's like Gen 2. Everyone forgets about it. And I think deer is in the name. It's like... Uh... He's just like a deer. He's like super... And- it's one of those. And you're sure it's not Stantler? No, it's not Stantler. <laughs> it's like Girafarig. No, Girafarig. That's different. That's a giraffe. giraffe. It's very much like Girafarig in that it's very forgettable in Gen 2. Uh-huh. But it is in there. I don't remember what it's called either. Mm. Anyway, this is an evolution of that Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> it's big and white and has like a big white beard. Oh, nice. And he's really cool looking. He's also psychic. So I think he's ah, psychic. Perfect. I think he's psychic normal. Everything is psychic. Yeah. Yay. But he's like a very <laughs> wise Pokemon. And he's like, he mm. sort of watches over the the land and stuff. Uh, and the very last uh, Hisui form they showed was Growlithe. Mm. There's a new Growlithe. And everyone is obsessed with him. Because okay. it's the cutest thing ever. Mm. Uh, it's got like really long hair. So it's like it's white hair covers its eyes. You like oh, can't yeah. see his eyes okay. at all. And he also has a little spike on his head. Uh-huh. Uh, that's very cute. And apparently that spike is rock because mm. this Growlithe is fire rock type. Interesting. Very okay. interesting. They have not shown Arcanine, um, but it's assumed that Arcanine will be, you know, different as well. Mm-hmm. 
anyway, the Growlithe is just insanely cute. There's a lot of art of, of it online already. Uh, so that's all the new forms and new Pokemon they've shown so far. Um, a lot of people are hoping and speculating that the starters will have new evolutions, mm. that slightly, okay. di- slightly different forms, which would make sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we'll see if that happens. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but the starters are Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott. Right. Which is really cool, I think. I love that um, selection of Pokemon. Um, so other than that, uh, Pokemon can kill you. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, this is... All of that is cool. This is the best part of Legends Arceus. Uh, Pokemon can fight you if you, even if you don't have a Pokemon. <laughs> okay. So there's, there's like this whole part where like a lightning, it's like dark and there's lightning and Pokemon are going nuts. Mm-hmm. And so there's like an Ursaring with red eyes and he just beats the crap out of you. Wow. You don't fight him with a Pokemon. You fight him with your hands. <laughs> wow. And like, and so, and so it's just a picture of an Ursaring like, booking it towards you and you have to like dodge roll and stuff <laughs> and you can and suddenly it's dark souls and you can black out from this Ursa ring beating you to death wow <laughs> because you can't <laughs> fight it and i did right here the dark souls of pokemon <laughs> yeah so so legends arceus is the dark souls of pokemon 100 <laughs> percent um it's the best part being able to be killed by pokemon is awesome uh, very similarly, there was like a Luxray that was running after you. There was a fight with a Gyarados. They seem to be like boss fights, basically. Mm-hmm. I think there's a point where you can use your Pokemon or something because it shows both. It shows yeah. you fighting it and like dodging, and then it shows you fighting with Pokemon too. So I don't know how the mechanics will work exactly. But uh, uh, anyway, Dark Souls, that's great. Uh- <laughs> so are we going to see someone do a playthrough of I fight Pokemon without Pokemon? Yeah, I beat Legends Arceus without Pokemon. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that will happen. Um, uh, other random things is crafting. Mm-hmm. Um, in sort of sort of Breath of the Wild style, you can get apricorns and stuff and craft Pokeballs mm-hmm. and things like that, which makes sense. I think I think that's kind of cool. Um, there's also a stealth element. In like, when you're catching, when you try to catch a Pokemon, you can hide in the tall grass. Oh, okay. Where Pokemon usually, are. so now you're in the tall grass. <laughs> so kind of like Sword and Shield, but yeah, but even more so yeah. because you can just catch right from the grass. You know, you don't have to initiate a battle with it or mm-hmm. anything. So yeah, you you can hide in the grass and like throw a Pokeball from the grass and try hmm. to like uh, sneak up on it. Um, you can also cr- craft and throw smoke balls on the ground. Hmm that make you more hidden, uh, which increase your stealth. This is a wild Pokemon yeah, game, wow. dude. This is crazy. It's uh, like how Koga would play yeah, catch this Pokemon. Is basically, you can be Koga. Uh, so the very last thing, this takes more explanation. So the, okay. the battles and uh-huh. how the battles work. Right. So this is with, from what I've seen with wild Pokemon battles, is um, on the upper right, there's like a list Mm-hmm. And it sh- and it shows the turn order between you and the wild Pokemon. Okay. Now it has to show that because it's not always one on one. If you are faster than your opponent uh, in just base stat uh, speed wise, sometimes you go twice, mm. and they and they don't get to go in between, which is crazy. That makes speed even more important than it already was. Yeah. <laughs> which is terrifying because it was already really important. Mm-hmm. Um. But it's made more interesting by the different battle styles that mm. you can that you can uh, use. Basically, when you use a move, one of your four moves, right. you can do it regular, or you can do it in the uh, strong style, or you can okay. do it in agile style. So if you use a move in strong style, it lowers your speed, lowers mm. your action speed, is what they call it. Okay. Um, which might make you not go twice or might make your opponent go twice, but your attack is way more powerful. Okay. So it lowers your speed, but your attack's more powerful. So it might end the fight, so it doesn't matter. Uh, agile style uh, heightens your, your speed and is slightly less powerful of an attack, but you might get to go twice in a row mm-hmm. more often. Um, so basically that's what they've shown 
uh, for these new styles. I don't know if there's going to be a third style or fourth or whatever. Okay. Uh, and it's it's hard to see how exactly that's going to work. But I think strategically it is kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Um, and makes you think a little more. Because I feel like Pokemon battles can be a little monotonous. Right. Especially when it's like when you're really strong and you're just like flamethrower and then walk, get into a battle, flamethrower. Yeah. And then you win, walk, flamethrower. Like yeah. it's a bit monotonous. So this might be a little interesting yeah. just and, to. And even when you don't one shot Pokemon, it's like start a battle, flamethrower, flame flamethrower, flame flamethrower, flamethrower. Flame 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 exactly. Now it's dead. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so it's not so any it's less monotonous when it's. I'm yeah. sure there's going to be new moves and stuff <laughs> on top of that. So mm-hmm. I think it's interesting. It's, it'll be, yeah. It'll be I cool to see how that works. Very fascinated. I good, am good. Yeah. So now that you've heard all of that, that's about all that I wrote down. Uh, I do recommend you watch the trailer too. Okay. To see it all in action. But I think it's really cool. I hope they do more. I hope I hope there's even more new Pokemon and actually stuff on top of it. But. I might not watch it and just go in kind of semi blind. That'd be cool. Yeah. Might be cool. Well, I'll let you know if uh anything else interesting comes up. But Okay. Yeah. Anyway, obviously, I'm really excited for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is going to be the most unique Pokemon game that's come out in a long time. And that is the cool part, is that it's, you know, not the same thing over and over again. Right. Because even, like, it seems that they've been going this way, you know, with the wild area in Sword and Shield, and, you know, it's just fun to see it evolve a little bit. Mm-hmm. They have not. They haven't even shown Arceus yet. Still, interesting. Even though it's apparently about Arceus, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We will see, and we'll see if there's more. There's like new legendaries, any other new Pokemon, stuff like that. But yeah, there you go. Cool. Anything else you want to add before we before we end off? No, I think it's good to. Uh, I think we're okay. We're good. That's good. I have to pee anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and with that. Thanks for listening. You go ahead and go take a pee as well if, if you want to. Or not. Whatever. You know, it's up to you. It's your bladder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, feel free to like and subscribe and comment and review if you're on a uh, thing. And please download the podcast if you're listening to it. Uh, that just helps us get more analytics and stuff. And it's just really nice to see, you know, where everyone's from and what, what everyone's up to. So uh, go ahead and like us don't like us maybe like it but also follow us on twitter <laughs> at the brothers g pod there will be a link uh wherever <laughs> there you go <laughs> and that's how you end a podcast bye bye it's over it's over